Hey beautiful, let's make a luxurious Sakura shave gel. This is going to cushion your skin while giving you a beautiful close shave. Now this isn't going to foam up, but it will provide the most gorgeous slip and conditioning for your skin. You're definitely going to want to try this one. So don't forget the link for the, the free recipe is in the description. So here we go. We're going to add some distilled water to this clean vessel. Now we're gonna go in with a generous helping of some aloe vera juice. And you know, aloe vera is an antioxidant, it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and it boosts healing, which we're gonna need if we're shaving. And it's gonna moisturize the skin and also help prevent some aging. Next in, we got some Sakura powder. Now, Sakura is uh, just really the the powder from the the Sakura blossoms, um, but it's really good for skincare. It turns out it's going to assist in anti aging. It's anti inflammatory. It can even your skin tone, and it can help to hydrate and plump the skin. Also in there, we have some Alantoin. And that helps, of course, to hydrate the skin, reduce itchiness, heal minor injuries that you might get from shaving, and it improves the overall texture and appearance of the skin. And we also have in there some hyaluronic acid, and that's gonna hydrate your skin by helping it to retain water. It's gonna help heal and soothe your skin, and it can give your skin a smooth, silky feel. And we're gonna blend that in because I want the hyaluronic acid to start to hydrate. And you are gonna see one or two little chunks of it floating around. Don't even worry about that. That is gonna to totally hydrate uh, as it sits. So don't worry about that. Next in, we're gonna add a generous portion of glycerin. Now, glycerin is a humectant, which means it helps your skin to retain moisture, but it's also an emollient, so it's gonna help to soften your skin as well. It can also help to heat, speed up healing um, for any nicks or cuts that you might get while shaving. So it's really nice stuff. We're gonna give that a blend to incorporate it fully. Also, you can put in your um, preservative at this point if you are so inclined. And next time I make this, I'll probably just do it here. But um, yeah, you can even put that in at this point too. And now we're gonna throw in some Sepamax Zen. And this is a gelling agent. It's gonna help to, of course, thicken the, the product and make it a gel. And it also is gonna stabilize the product. And it can help create a rich, velvety, elegant skin feel. And it's definitely gonna do that in this shave gel. So we're just gonna cover it up and set it to the side. Now you can do what I'm doing, cover it up, set it to the side for several many hours. Or you can blend it up directly with a stick blender. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is set it aside for a couple hours while I have some other things to do and then come back to it and stick blend it later. It doesn't really matter, it'll be fine. But while that sits, we're gonna go ahead and in this other clean and sterilized vessel, we're gonna throw in uh, a few things. We're gonna add some more distilled water, just a bit. And to that, we're gonna add Ultra Mild Surfactant, and that's the name of it. It's called Ultra Mild. It is a very gentle surfactant. It has an extremely low irritancy profile. It is tear free, you can use it for babies. It's great for the delicate little body parts that we all have. So it's really lovely stuff. And we're just putting a touch of it in here to help mostly uh, solubilize the fragrance oil and to also help the rinse off of this gel. And then of course, just a touch of fragrance oil. You can use essential oil if you'd like, but I just used a, like a kind of a cherry blossom fragrance oil. And 
and then I do add some this is where I add my preservative liquid Dermal Plus but like I said you can add that Dermal Plus to the earlier uh, concoction <laughs> I don't know And then we're just going to give that a good stir to make sure all of those ingredients are incorporated. And then we're going to set that aside. And so now back to the Seven Max Zen. Uh, yeah, I left it the way you saw earlier every now and then as I walked by I would jiggle the jar a little bit to make sure that the water um, came in contact with the Sepamax on the top but you know I had waited long enough I my other activities were done so I wanted to get this over with so we're just gonna hit it with a stick blender and it is fine you can do this anyway Sepamax is really forgiving in that way You just want to really make sure that it's incorporated. And I went at this for probably like two or three minutes. You want it to look like this. It's going to kick up some bubbles, but those will, a lot of them will pop later. Not to worry. You can see the texture, it's really kind of like gelled and clumpy. Not to worry, it's going to smooth out beautifully. I'm going to add those uh, items that we added or those ingredients we added earlier. The preservative, the extra water, the surfactant, the scent, all of that we mixed in just a minute ago. Pour that in and we're just going to give that a gentle stir. We don't want to kick up too many extra bubbles with the surfactant, um, but you do want to give that a good stir. All those little chunky bits need to dissipate. So give it a nice stir for as long as you need to, to get those to uh, incorporate and go away. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. Look at this beautiful texture we have. That's what it should look like. None of those chunky bits are left. It's smooth, it looks beautiful, it spreads lovely. That's what we want. Now I had one of these airless pumps kicking around. You just wanna sanitize it. And I'm gonna stick this gel in there. Look how beautiful that is. It feels as good as it looks too, it's pretty awesome. Pop the cap on and I will of course demo it for you I mean I'm not gonna shave my arm or anything but you get the point <laughs> And a little goes a long way, so you don't need a ton. It spreads beautifully. Uh, it's so thick and cushiony and feels so lovely. 
and it rinses cleanly and pretty easily actually for a thick gel and it just leaves your skin feeling lovely. So subscribe for more and thank you so much for watching. Bye.